Hello friends of 3 Disco Online. In this episode, I would like to show you a couple of special tricks and techniques of using displacement map, normal bump and something more. Enjoy! So after when I choose an image with a pretty nice and big size, uh, I got imported in my 3D Max diffuse map using simple VRA material. But let's start from the, just from the beginning. So I use my gravel texture map, which I found in. Uh, internet and I use it for a diffuse map having simple reflection and glossiness nothing more just for a quick preview it will be pretty enough and after when I got all my maps covered in uh, my V-Ray material I do apply to my geometry in my scene and that will be our first preview of material creation using simple diffuse map with without something special without any kind of effects just simple diffuse bitmap and this is our base point when we started every time when we create some uh, blurring material but if we move the pump map to the displacement and play a little bit with the numbers I got choose with the 4 you see what appears immediately in our scene everything explodes our material become alive this is the power of the displacement this is actually the basics of the ground level knowing displays map workflow and the power of displays in our case V-Ray displays map and I just uh, move my diffuse texture map to the displacement slot and you've seen what immediately changed in my material but how I stay if how I say if uh, we take this as our ground point, our start base, and let's try to do something more with our material and let's try to test some other techniques. For example, by using just bump. You know the difference between the bump and the displacement is that the displacement map itself is working with the geometry um, using the texture you choose and it's really working in the three-dimensional way comparing with the bump map bump map is just um, making an illusion that our material is having realistic uh, texture but actually it's just a simple game of light let's go to photoshop and i'm using cc version of photoshop and go to filter 3d and create a bump map from our image what we chose previously and also you can create by going again to filter you can create a simple normal map which you can use further in 3D Max and I'm gonna show you right now how you can use it by choosing normal V-Ray bump to normal slot and after that you just drop the bitmap what we've created in Photoshop and let's see how it works in our scene on our geometry it's really easy and simple just to drop and 
track the texture into different slots to see what can be done with all these materials and maps after that and how I said the difference between the bitmap and the displacement map is simple they is just using different techniques working with the lines and the difference between the bitmap and the bump map and the displacement is that the displacement is working in three dimensional way and so you see the difference between the displacement and what we created right now with a bump is a huge but also pretty near let me show you a website which you can find see the link just below down below on the video where you can create normal mouse from just drop uh, dragging and dropping uh, an image directly into the website and you can use it further in the way how I show you right now using pump to bitmap in V-Ray and we have nice gap and displacement effects by using V-Ray pump to map also you can try to do the same with a displacement slot just switch from pump to the displacement and see what appears actually you can get similar effect and how I love to say there is a bunch of ways you can create one thing and this video I'm just showing you a couple of tricks which I'm using my daily workflow and there is another software which the guys from Algorithmic created very powerful for professionals bitmap to material where we can create from a simple image all the advanced texture you need after you know your workflow and post-production you see you can switch from DirectX to OpenGL uh, you can control the roughness and specular level ambient occlusion advanced actually these are all settings you can uh, squeeze actually from simple bitmap and export all the effects you need for your scene after uh, whatever 3d software you using the key in softwares is just you can get a very nice preview of what you would like to have after in your scene in creating displacement map and I repeat again here you can uh, create in really professional way nice normal map displacement ambient occlusion and whatever you want and to see how does it reflect immediately by adjusting the things and the softwares there is a lot lot of options on softwares which is very powerful but let's get back to the normal CG workflow which your most artists are using and um, but let me show you the last things with uh, connect with the bitmap to bump softwares there is a nice map slot sub substance called and you can actually after you've done your export from the softwares you can use all the images and you can follow the logic in all of them and you have a nice professional control of all the settings on each of the images controlling the specular level the reflection glossiness and etc 
but how I say it, this is maybe the most professional level how you can create an, a bump and displacement and the effect can be really really nice and realistic by working this way but how I said I'm just showing you the simple base level of texturing the geometry without displacement we jumping to the simple displace map and simple bump map and after we're going further with using advanced techniques by V-Ray bump to normal map and what I'm doing now is I'm showing the top level of uh, workflow used by many professional how they are creating their displacement maps and how they get the best photorealistic effects in their geometry but for more additional information you can follow the links below the video also you can subscribe for another episodes of 3 Disc Online and if you have an, uh, any question you can ask anytime and we can discuss and increase our skills by the way how we are working and you see my final result by the basic level and the professional level there is actually a huge uh, difference by the way how you're creating a bitmap and without studying the simple things you need as settings and without understanding which of the adjustment and what is doing on your bitmap you can't create the best things in your uh, photorealistic imagery so stay subscribed and thanks for watching